To create items in a bulk and copy of items in a bulk is a little bit more complex. We need to start by searching for config packages. In this example, we would create a new one. However, I've already got a config package card already set up and created. So once you've got your config package card created, you give it a code and you give it a package name. In this example, I've got item and copy of items. The next step is to put in the table ID of the table you want to get the data from. In this example, it's the item table, so it's table ID 27. It is worth noting that the number of fields available will be populated. The number of fields included are populated and the number of fields to validate will be populated upon the acceptance of the table ID. We then need to export this out to Excel. This will then give you an Excel sheet with all your existing items. So once you have then modified your own list of items, you've copy and pasted, for example, here, copy these in a bulk, and then we want to paste them back in. Now, the, it is worth noting that you need to change the item numbers so they're not the same. So in this example, okay, we'll also format the table. Essentially, once you've finished your changes, make sure you save. And then you can close the config package down. The next step then is to re-import the package that you have just modified back into Business Central. So we want to import there, and we want the package. You will then be faced with this page. Do not stress because the text is in red. This means that it is good to go. So we're going to click import. I'm going to click yes. OK, so then Business Central will give you a pop-up message to say the config package has been imported. Now we need to apply it. Before we do any application, I always validate the relations by going to functions, validate relations. This is just so that if there are any errors, I can spot them early before re de before deploying straight into my data, my, my live environment. So as you can see, one, to one table has been processed and no zero pack of package errors have been found. In that case, it is now ready to be applied. So I'm going to go up to the header. I'm going to go in the ribbon, apply package. And I'm going to click apply data package, yes. So as you can see, one table are processed, eight records inserted. So now all that's left for me to do is go to the item list, search by item. And as you can see here, my dummy items have come through. They have been created. My test copy of the actual items have now been displayed. If I was to search by item, bring up the item list. And as you can see here, bulk of my items that I've gone and copied from the existing item list have all been displayed here.